A135. This is what we feel like all the time. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Sort of. Uh, D135. Here we are. Once again. Not going nowhere. Mm -mm. We ain't got a choice. So, um, I've learned a few things from doing these videos. For one, my hair always looks awful. And my nose is really big. I'm not really self-conscious about it. I don't care. Um, it seems that uh, we have drawn some attention to ourselves, obviously. Uh, and people are watching these things. You know, well, people at State Farm and stuff are watching these things because they don't like the attention they're bringing or whatever. And I, I kind of figured that was going to happen, that things are going to slow down a little bit or whatever, maybe, sort of, kind of. Hmm? I don't know. But, um... They're going to follow their protocol to a T and do all that stuff. And I don't blame them. Whatever. You know. Um, I haven't heard back from the structural engineer yet. Nothing. Tomorrow will be two weeks. We're told, you know, seven, ten days, twelve days. Whatever. I'm just impatient. Public address has been working on the uh, personal contents list again. Itemized list. <laughs> The lack thereof itemization list. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. So, been really frustrating. What's new? Uh, I don't know. We're a tough goal. You know, in reality, with the way things have been going or whatever, we've been compensated. It's a good start. We haven't we haven't been totally shafted. I'll tell you that it's um, a far cry from what our coverage is. Maybe I don't know. It's hard to explain. But it's not like we're asking for anything that's unreasonable. There's things on our itemized list that's missing, like stuff we know we own. There's no doubt in our minds. It's like why? Well, why isn't that on there? That on the list is not contained in the pictures or nothing. <coughs> and we have the opportunity to add things to this list. And they have to prove that we didn't have. We're not adding anything stupid. We're adding, actually giving fair ideas of things that we know that aren't on that stuff. We're probably forgetting a lot of stuff, too. We were there a long time, fit almost 15 years. <coughs> It's not like we're trying to say, well, I had Rolex watches and gold bullion hidden in the basement, and that's all missing. No, we're, we're trying to be pretty reasonable about everything, you know, just because we paid for a service for a long time that we're finally having to, unfortunately, try and collect on. And um, it, it, it's not going so good. So anyway, we just kind of feel that uh, the unnecessary attention that we have drawn has made things a little harder. Sure, we kind of knew that was going to happen. I kind of have stated that several times. And uh, they're following protocol to a T and dotting all the I's, crossing all the T's. So, I don't know. All I can say is hindsight's 2020, but boy, if I could have... I, I was so reassured that when our stuff was being taken out of our house, it was going to be itemized, cataloged, put in groups of stuff that makes sense, maybe even a little sense. And it just didn't go very good. I get really mad about it. Uh, if I'd have known it would have gone that badly, I was, I guess, maybe a little... Gullible? I don't know. Gullible? That's a pansy-ass word. Kind of convinced that, yeah, this is this is what's going to happen. This and We were told a lot of stuff that was going to happen that didn't. And uh, that's the most frustrating part of the whole thing is it just didn't go the way it was going to at first. So, 
we just have to wait. I know uh, we don't plan on just packing up and just calling it quits, so we just can't. Well, technically we could. Uh, not a quitter, obviously. Anybody who knows me personally knows that's the one thing I don't do is quit. <laughs> so, see y'all next time.